Lecture 38, Fault Juxtaposition Faults offset reservoir units and they can either facilitate or prevent fluid flow. A fault seal prevents fluid flow across a fault. There are three types of fault seals. Juxtaposition seals, where reservoir units are juxtaposed against non-reservoir units across the fault. Self-juxtaposed seals, where reservoir units are juxtaposed across the fault, but the fault itself is a seal that prevents fluid flow between the reservoirs. And shale smear seal, where there is a smear of shale along the fault, and this shale prevents fluid flow across the fault. This lecture is about juxtaposition seals. Before we start, it is important to remember the uncertainty in fault structure, especially on seismic data. This has important implications for the interpreted juxtaposition of rock units across the fault. The main point is that both fault structure and fault juxtaposition have uncertainty. An effective method to display juxtaposition of rocks across a fault is the Allen diagram. This is a fault plane section illustrating the stratigraphy brought into contact at the fault plane. In the figure, the light yellow layers are the reservoir units from the hanging wall in contact with the fault, and the dark yellow layers are the reservoir units from the foot wall in contact with the fault. If fluids are migrating from the hanging wall block to the foot wall block, they will migrate through locations where the reservoirs from these blocks are juxtaposed. At other locations, fluid flow across the fault will not be possible, because the reservoir is in contact with a shale unit. This is another example. The Allen diagram shows the downthrown, D, and upthrown, U, reservoirs in contact with the fault. At the crest of the structure, there is no reservoir overlap on the fault surface. This is clearly illustrated by a cross section at that location. Therefore, at the crest of the structure, the oil will not migrate across the fault. The degree of filling of the trap is most likely controlled by spill points away from the fault. Another technique to analyze juxtaposition on the fault plane is the triangle diagram. Imagine the fault is rotational as illustrated in the left figure. The fault throw increases linearly from zero to a maximum value along strike. Lithological juxtaposition occurs on a triangular area. As shown in the right figure, we can isolate this triangle and display on it the foot wall strata as horizontal layers, and the hanging wall strata as inclined layers. By doing so, we can mark on the triangle, the areas where reservoirs are juxtaposed. For example, in the triangle, area SST2 plus 1, is the area of juxtaposition of sandstone 2 in the foot wall and sandstone 1 in the hanging wall. The neat thing about triangle diagrams, is that we can create them with one well. By moving the log of the well past itself, we can simulate slip along the fault. The foot wall or upthrown beds are drawn as horizontal lines, while the hanging wall or downthrown beds are drawn as diagonal lines. Fault throw increases from zero to the right of the diagram. The juxtaposition of the beds can be seen in the triangle plot. For example 2 over 1 means the sand 2 in the foot wall, juxtaposed against the sand 1 in the hanging wall. This gives us a complete description of the juxtaposition of rock units across the fault, as function of fault throw. To learn more about this, read chapter 9 of Fossen, and do his e-learning module on faults. And answer these questions.